Ah, oh, man. Check, check, check. It's your boy DJ Swale. It's another episode. Episode three, I think we're on. Elevated Radio, Swale Circle. I got another special guest with me. Word of the day is going to be consistent. Consistent. Yes. Okay. Consistent. Mm-hmm. Um, with Swale Circle, I'm not sure if you've seen the last episode or not, pretty much how we start the timeline. We start where I met you mm-hmm. and kind of progress that way take it back to when you're younger, and kind of go full circle, how we got to that point where we met. Circle. Full circle. Got it. You know what I'm saying? Toilet circle. Woo! <laughs> Come on now. Hey, you got that? Okay. Hey, okay. You're the first person who actually got that. That's cool. Okay. All right. All right. Um, we have A-Dub in the building, if you can't tell. I've known A-Dub for, what, nine years? Ten years? It's been a long time. I was it's been a that while. Day too. It's been a while. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you your credit now, and I'm going to say you're one of the few, if not only person I can call an industry friend mm. because you know everybody's not an industry friend that's you true. got people that you know in the industry that help you out that you can talk to but the friend aspect of it is we talk text call uh if we need something we hit each other up for it mm-hmm. so I do appreciate your humbleness oh you're welcome um yeah you've been doing great Thank these you. last 10 years you have 10 years that's, crazy that's a long to time say. that's a long time you have been too yeah I try you know Dang, look where we at um so, yeah, we're going to take it back. So, I, I don't even think you might know if you think about it or might have been aware. So, I've been doing radio. I was in radio in 2010 in high school. I was a junior in high school in Greenville. I was working at um, Hot 98.1 and Jams. Mm-hmm. I did promotions there for two years and I obviously went to college. And that's when I started working at Streets as an intern. Um, for people who don't know, uh, non competes and NDAs are not real unless you get caught because you're not supposed to work for it. Three, four different radio stations. So I'm, I'm going, <laughs> I'm going back and forth. I'm going to Greenville. I'm like, hey, this is what they're doing in Charlotte. I'm coming to Charlotte. Hey, this is what they're doing in Greenville. But you were going back and telling them. Yeah, yeah. Come on now. Okay. Hey, I'm trying to plug. I'm trying to plug people in. Uh-huh. Obviously, the Greenville market is not listening. Some of the people in the Charlotte market at the time was not listening. Mm-hmm. Um, none of them have jobs right now. So you know. Should have listened. It's unfortunate. Hey, they should have. Come on now. Yeah. Um, so when I started at Streets. I was already doing radio, so I wanted to be in radio, but it was mainly just for an internship. Um, I think this was 2015, 2014, 2015? 20, 2015. 2015. Yeah. Took the, inter- took the internship. I got the uh, PWI pass because it was like everybody from like Smith and UNCC wanted to work at the radio, but they were like, we need people from other schools. So I'm like, hey, I, went to, I go to Queens, I do radio, blah, blah, blah. They're like, oh, man, yeah, yeah, of course, we need people from Queens. Uh-huh. I got in the radio station that way. First, I don't know if it was first day or first week, second week. I meet Ada, another intern. Um, you were at what college were you at? I was I'm at so, Wingate. Oh, okay, I was gonna say Wingate. Yeah. At that point, Wingate internship. Were you in radio because you wanted to be in radio, or you just wanted the internship, like myself? Um, it was like a mixture of both. Okay. Cause I didn't think I really wanted to be in radio mm-hmm. yet, or something. I don't really don't know how that came about. But I didn't need an internship. Mm-hmm. And I think I, was, I wanted something more media related. Mm-hmm. So I think with Streets being the newer station, I was like, oh, it's probably like an easier way to get in Facts. compared to the other stations Facts. around. So I think I just picked radio because I like music. Mm-hmm. But I don't know why I didn't do like news station or mm-hmm. something like that. But yeah, I didn't think about being on radio until I got into the internship. And you were making a drive. How far was the trip? Every you were doing. I think we did every day, but then I guess we separated like every other day, just depending on our schedule mm-hmm. at the time. And you were driving from Salisbury to Charlotte. Oh wait, wait, no, it's <laughs> Wingate to Charlotte. So that's like thirty-five. <laughs> what city is Wingate in? Wingate's like past Monroe. Why am I thinking Salisbury? I know that's where you're from. I'm from Salisbury. Yeah, but I thought Wingate was in Salisbury. No. 30 minutes is not terrible. I don't feel bad for you no more. Yeah. Okay. I'm the- <laughs> you thought I was in here in the trenches. That's why I was like, I'm uh-huh. like, yo, she's driving from Salisbury every day? I was oh. like, damn, kudos to her. Okay, yeah, Wingate's not terrible. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we did that. I think we're in streets. Well, I think I was in streets until 2016, until I graduated. I know we talked about it before. People don't give the credit streets deserve. Mm, I feel like streets was like, it. they were the first to do a lot of things. Just the second conversation, they had all the hood artists first. Mm-hmm. Migos, Dolph, uh, Baby, uh, Moneybag, anybody that you can think of coming up in that time and that, that 2012, 2016 run, mm-hmm. Streets had them first. Yeah, I'd agree. Interviewed them first. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, obviously, you know, Streets is not what it, what it used to be. I think their downfall was they didn't realize the lane that they were in. 
because they saw like Block had, let's just say like the Fantasias or Anthony Hamiltons, they didn't realize like the hood lane is like where it's at. Because mm-hmm. we see where we're at right now. Yeah. Everybody's trying to interview all these, you know, the Dirks and the little babies, but they been had those artists in 2012. Yeah. Which is crazy. That is crazy. Um, when did you leave Streets? When you graduated? Nah, I left Streets 2017 or 2018. Okay. Maybe 2017. Maybe 2017. Okay. Yeah, I think 2017. Because I left 2016, and at that point, that's when you were doing more on air stuff. You weren't necessarily doing the internship portion. Yeah, they had the hired me. So, because when I graduated in 2015, that yeah. May, okay. they um, brought me as part time. So, I moved back to mm-hmm. Charlotte with my sister. She mm-hmm. was living there. My mom was in Salisbury. Okay. So, now I would come back to Charlotte and stay with her and then do like, yeah, the part time or like fill in. Mm-hmm. Then I had weekends. Mm, okay. Where were you at? Oh, I, was you there? I was out. I was, I was about to get to that. I was <laughs> gonna say um, one thing. I do. I admire you. You took the radio route. So there's two different routes you can take when it comes to like music or just you know the entertainment industry in general. There's the corporate route and there's like the independent route. Mm-hmm. I wanted to do more like the independent thing. Oh, so okay. as people see now, I think last year, two years ago, when um, Joe Budden and Charlemagne kept going at it, mm-hmm. uh, the disagreement is pretty much they took different routes. So Charlamagne thinks Joe's doing it wrong. Joe's thinking Charlamagne's doing it wrong. But it's like, he's what I heard. You're with Spotify at the time. Mm. There's pros and cons to both. Yeah. So I wanted more of the independent route, ownership, doing what I want, not, you know, uh, I don't need a green light for anything when I want to do something. Mm. But there's nothing wrong with the corporate route that you took because you kind of get that backing and that boost. You can be around A-list celebrities, get these interviews, go to these events. So... My question to kind of bring it all together is, uh, did you realize that going into radio, it's going to put you in more of like a spotlight position versus kind of just doing it on your own like you were doing? Because you were doing like Vine, you're on Instagram, you're on Twitter, so you were still doing your own thing, but having that radio back and it kind of boosted you up. Did you realize that was going to happen when you went into it? I don't think so because, mm-hmm. you know, I didn't, nobody in my family did radio or like media. I really didn't like follow anybody who like knew how like media worked and stuff Mm -hmm. so I guess like when it started like popping off I would say we're like learning everything at streets like from the internship and like seeing Mm -hmm. everything and then going part-time and stuff like that Mm -hmm. it's when I was like okay I guess this is how it's going what they do but also like no shade to streets but streets is a little bit different than what may happen in like Radio One or iHeart or something a little bit more different rules. Yeah. But then like <laughs> No rules sometimes. Jeez. Yeah, no rules. Yeah. So then I really didn't start really seeing how radio and like entertainment entertainment media would be like until I moved out from Charlotte mm-hmm. and saw how like bigger corporations were working. Mm-hmm. But at that time I was kind of just like learning. Everything was like mm-hmm. what I thought was how it's supposed to be or like stuff like that. But going in, I didn't think like you know, Migos will come to the door tomorrow yeah. or like stuff like yeah. that, you know? So, yeah, yeah. it was definitely, and that's why with you, and I, we're gonna, as we continue to talk, I want you to help, you know, speak to people who want to be in your position. You did it the right way. That's why I've always uh, supported and liked the route that you took, because even though you did take the corporate route, uh, again, word of the day is consistency. You've been consistent throughout your whole entire career. We've mm-hmm. seen people, I'm gonna say no names. We've seen people who were <laughs> whether you're, whether they're still doing it or not, they had backing and they weren't consistent with their backing, mm-hmm. so they kind of fell off or they're not where you're at. So that's one thing I do. Um, I love about the journey. I love about your journey Thank for sure. You. So streets, left streets, and then you went to Indiana. Mm-hmm. How did that come about? Um, so there's a website, you know, All Access that has mm-hmm. like all like radio uh, jobs and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and. That was on there. At this point, because, you know, Streets had let me go mm. the beginning of that year because all the part-time had left because of, like, money and stuff. Yeah. So. Which I don't understand how they were broke. They had all, they didn't capitalize. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Egos. They didn't capitalize. Go ahead. <laughs> so, um, at that point, you know, I didn't really tell anybody that I had, you know, got let go because I didn't want to, I didn't want people to think, like, oh, she's not on radio more. She doesn't matter. Mm. That's what I was going with, like, that part. So I was kind of like keeping it in of like not telling anybody I was like not with them anymore. And if like anybody asked, I'd be like, oh, like, yeah, because, you know, yada, yada. Yeah. So then it wasn't until like April of that year that I kind of announced the Instagram. I was like, you know, I've been let go since January and like yada, yada. And like all the love started like pouring in of like, you know, wish you best on your next luck or like come like do come do an interview here. Come like join yeah. our podcast. And like all these opportunities started opening up. I was like, yeah. okay. So now I step, I still was just applying to jobs because... 
at that point in Charlotte, I was, I was like a bad point. Yeah. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. The career wasn't taking off. I was like doing Uber and Lyft and stuff. Ooh, okay. So I was uh, like, <laughs> Uber and, okay. <laughs> so I was like, I'm not going to do this for the rest of like my life, right? So I was yeah. like, at that point, I was like, I think I had to like move, right? Mm -hmm. And so the station in Indiana, we had did the whole interview and stuff like that. And then, you know, actually, when the Indiana interview happened, mm -hmm. I was actually on my way back to streets because they wanted to talk about bringing me back. Ooh. Right? So I was okay. like, but they were in a whole different building. It was a whole different mm -hmm. situation, a whole new boss and stuff like that. So when I'm leaving that interview, I mm -hmm. get the email from Indiana saying like, oh, can we do the interview? Can we like do this and this? And yeah. I applied to it. Yeah. So I said, okay. So I did that, yada, yada. And then I got the job and I was like... I was like upset because I was like, oh, that means I had to leave now. Like yeah. I had to leave Charlotte. Yeah. And like North Carolina is like all I knew. But I was like 25 at the time. So I was kind of like that that age of just like you can leave. You have no kids. You Still have no young. partner, yeah. no nothing. You can yeah. just go, right? So I did just that. And then from there, that was like a whole different company, whole different people. It was mm -hmm. more pop radio with a little bit of like Drake, Beyonce, stuff like that. Yeah. And then, yeah, I learned more of like actual like corporate radio and like mm -hmm. a bigger office and being a full-timer and stuff like that how more that professional works. for sure i bet yeah more professional and yeah. so yeah that's how it happened so i went to in indiana for a year and did that mm -hmm. i like that yeah. let me ask you this though kind of deep dive what you just said there um what are your thoughts or what are your advice for i'm trying to see how to phrase it um announcing that essentially announcing bad news because a lot of mm. people when something bad happens to them like they lose a job they lose whatever something bad happens so they're not quick to a lot of people do it for clout reasons now on oh, yeah. social media like oh god i took a car accident i broke my hand just stupid <laughs> stuff but like yeah. something like i lost my job and like you said people are already looking at you right here mm -hmm. to some people saying i lost my job internally kind of brings you down here mm -hmm. so how did you get the courage to say okay i have to announce this to everybody Dang, um, I think I was just kind of like, I think maybe at a point where people were asking too much, mm -hmm. and it was to the point of like, girl, you ain't posting nothing in the radio, mm -hmm. you ain't at no events, like, you just want yeah, to kind of like, yeah. let it go, like, I'm not with them anymore, this is yeah. what's been going on, and stuff like that. So I think it was kind of to the point of just like, wanting to move on to, just mm -hmm. be like, I don't want to people associate with the station that I'm really not working for anymore. Okay. And so then I was just like, okay, well, here's this, and... But my caption was able to like say my piece with it. Mm -hmm. um, but then, yeah, come to find out, like everybody shows the love, or like, you know, they yeah. you get the comments of like, oh, I wonder where you've been, or we need you back. And like, you know, whether they mean it or not, but yeah. just like seeing all the comments of like what people are occur encouraging words. And Helped stuff. you out, yeah. So, yeah. I wonder where you've been, unemployed, <laughs> broke. <Yeah>. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, nah, but that's good though. I think mm -hmm. um, it takes courage for sure.